Hey everybody, it's Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich. We're talking about a big weather event for the country, not so much in the Carolinas, but in the middle of the country and the upper Midwest, we are going to see another significant severe weather outbreak today. But bigger story might be the widespread damaging wind event that's going to occur across most of the country. So let's get right to the details. So again, this is going to be focused on the middle of the country. So if you have friends, family, colleagues, church uh, friends and family and colleagues that are in the middle of the country, make sure they're weather aware today because this storm system, which you see coming out of the Rockies, is going to have all kinds of crazy wind with it. And I'm going to show you some of the wind gusts here. I'm going to pop them up here and you'll see the display. These are the current wind speeds. Now, this is at the surface, okay? Look at this southerly wind that has been developing. This is crazy to see these wind gusts coming out of the south. I mean, it's just bizarre to see these strong winds without um, severe weather over such a big area of the middle of the country. So as this storm system, which is right here, it's coming out of the Rockies, it's going to make this kind of approach. So these strong winds across the southern central plains, front range of the Rockies, will be moving slowly from the Rockies up into the Midwest as we go into the afternoon hour. So I'm going to turn those off for a second and we're going to turn off the satellite imagery just for a second because I do want to show you the severe weather outlook today. Here's the severe weather outlook. So as this energy gets up into the Midwest, um, you're going to see a high risk of severe storms across Iowa, parts of Nebraska into Minnesota area, and probably parts of southwestern uh, Wisconsin. And again, some of these areas actually have snow on the ground, believe it or not. And the area you see kind of flashing in the middle, that's the highest risk area. And the probability of tornadoes within that area is around 10%. So that's pretty significant. And these are going to be fast moving storms moving at 60, 70, 80 miles per hour because of that strong wind environment. So just like we saw in Kentucky, these things are going to be hauling and there could be some long track tornadoes embedded in there. But that's just part of the story because the severe weather, as bad as that is, the wind damage over such a big part of the country is going to be huge. And I'll quickly show you um, as we look at some of these, uh, you know, basically advisories across the middle of the country. It's crazy to see all the wind advisories, high wind warnings, wind watches, which encompass it a big chunk of the middle of the country. It's crazy how much wind we're going to see. So let me show you what this wind is going to look like. So we'll take a look at this system. You can see on the water vapor loop, what's going on in the jet stream here is the jet stream is coming down here. It's taking a sharp curve and it's going off in this direction. When we see sharp turns in the jet stream, you get what's called difluent flow, which is air going like that. That lifts the air here, but it also creates an incredible want, a, a, a lot of wind shear. If you think about what's going on in the atmosphere, low level winds are coming in from this direction. Mid level winds are coming in from this direction. And at some point, the winds in the mid and upper levels are starting to come in from the southwest and eventually the west. So the wind is literally changing direction and speed with height, which is crazy high. And this setup is just off the charts. So this is the jet stream winds. You see those jet stream winds and the brighter colors are showing you over 100, you know, knot winds, 120, 130 knot winds moving through the middle of the country. Now, again, this is jet stream level. So 25, 30,000 feet. Well, let's drop down in level. Let's go down to 5,000 feet. You can see those winds are really strong. In some cases, the browns here are over in the 64 to 70 knots. So you're talking 80, 90 mile an hour winds um, at 5,000 feet. So any kind of mixing, taking that down to the surface would be off the charts. And look at those winds, especially through Iowa. I mean, th that is crazy high winds. So when we look at the maximum wind gust expected, this area brown, these are 80 mile an hour winds. Now these are non-thunderstorm winds. And then 60, 70 mile an hour winds expected all the way up into the Midwest. So this area right in here, you know, basically from the Dakotas down to New Mexico, Northern Texas, Arkansas, into Ohio on the Great Lakes, this area, we could see widespread power failures and outages in this area. It just would be off the charts. So here's a look at the system. I'm, I'm putting a loop here of the radar and satellite, and you can see all the, the, the colors here. Those are basically wind warnings, high wind warnings in that kind of shade uh, that you see on the map. I mean, it's, it's crazy to see some of these wind speeds that we're seeing depicted as a system. You can see how it looks. I mean, it looks like a dang hurricane um, in, in some cases with a big cold front with it. There's that there's that system you can see moving through the Midwest. I'm going to turn off. I mean, you get the idea. There are a ton, a ton of watches or, or warnings currently in effect um, for high winds. But look at that system. And again, you see the time frame, 9.15 tonight. So 
planning this thing out. You could see it moving out of uh, um, Nebraska into Iowa. And again, embedded in there might be supercells producing tornadoes and then up to the northeast. So that's the radar. Let me let me quickly uh, just show you the wind gust. So what I'm going to do is show you wind gust here. We're going to loop this over the next 18 hours. Um, and it's crazy. So these colors are really bright for a reason. But I'll let it load here for a second. We'll back it up. So see some of these colors. I'll probe them real quick just to give you an idea. These are surface wind gust. I mean, look at some of these speeds. This is just crazy to see these kind of numbers popping up. And this is 10 a.m. this morning. We'll go through time. Watch these wind speeds again, moving out into Nebraska and Oklahoma or Kansas and Nebraska and Oklahoma, and then moving into areas. I mean, Kearney, uh, Grant. I mean, these. Uh, it's just bizarre. This looks like a hurricane. Look at this. 86 mile an hour winds. You know, if you've been to the plains, it's windy anyways. It's so flat. Uh, moving into parts of Omaha. And again, this is 7 p.m. tonight. Des Moines, Iowa. I mean, you get the idea. We'll go through time here as this moves into Des Moines tonight and parts of Iowa. So this is Iowa around 9 o'clock our time. Again, remember, this will be 8 o'clock central time. Um, look at some of those wind speeds. I mean, that that is... That is just crazy to see these type of numbers showing up. So you get the idea. This is going to be a huge event for a big chunk of the country. Um, so if you have friends or family in these areas today into tonight, I would tell them make sure they're ready for basically a hurricane. This is what this thing looks like. Um, and you're basically going to see widespread power outages that could last for an extended period of time. So again, the reason I'm doing this update is for outside of our area, but I know a lot of people follow me from outside of the Carolinas, and some of you have friends or family in there. In this area circled, please tell them they need to be prepared for widespread power outages that could last weeks because a big chunk of the country will be impacted. And this could have a trickle-down effect on the rest of the country, even here in the Carolinas, from shipping delays to airline delays to power crews and people having to head up to this area to help them out. And on top of all this, we've got that severe weather outlook there in the middle of the country. So as always, stay weather aware, pass the word along. Some of the folks in this region may not be up to date on what's going on with the weather. This is your chance to empower them and say, hey, stay up to date. This is what's happening. Our weather guy is telling us this. Make sure you're taking this seriously because power outages could be a big issue. Charge everything up tonight, right now, throughout the day. Be prepared. Stay away from those windows. And again, Please, please be safe. This is a huge weather event for most of the country.